Graphical user interface, also known as GUI, will cover the PD window, the console window, the DSP, also known as digital signal processing, the menu bar, the canvas. Welcome to this tutorial. Let's start off by launching Pure Data. Let's dive into the graphical user interface. This is the PD window. The PD window is where it shows everything the program has to offer, such as the console log, menu bar, and a DSP. This is the console window. The console window logs messages. Basically, it will populate messages such as messages from PD itself or using the print object, which writes messages to the console window. You will also notice the word DSP, and beside it there is a checkbox or a tick box that you can check or uncheck. This turns on and off the audio program. You can see the text changes. Let's go to the menu bar and explore it. So first is file, new, open, save, save as, message, met preferences, print, a list of recent files that were opened, Close and quit, edit, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, duplicate, paste, rep replace, select, font, zoom in, zoom out, tidy up, disconnect selection, triggerize, clear console, edit mode, put, object, message, number, symbol, comment, bang, toggle, number two, V slider, H slider, V radio, H radio, VU meter, canvas, graph, array. Find, find again, find last error, media, DSP on, DSP off, test audio and MIDI, load meter, standard, MMIO, ASIO via port audio, audio settings, MIDI settings, window, minimize, next, window, previous window, PD window, parent window, help, about PD, HM manual, Browser, list of objects, pure data info, report a bug, and find externals. So you can also get more help um, under the help section. We can do the HTML manual. It will load up the HTML manual and you can explore this manual and read it all through if you want, if you have the time. And if you are really curious about the software, it gives you a lot of information. But let's start off um, creating a new patch. So file new. And then this is the canvas. This is where you start um, building your patch. So in here, um, it also has a menu bar. It's the same um, menu bar as the one in the PD window. But in, in here, put is um, enabled. So the text is um, in a black font and edit is also in black fonts too. So it's enabled, but if you check in the PD window, it's disabled, it's grayed out as you can see here. Some of it's grayed out, but most of it, all the put is all grayed out as you can see. So with PD, you basically um, mostly use um, the put. Um, this is to put um, tools onto the canvas. So there's an object tool, there's a message tool, there's a number tool, there's a symbol tool, there's a comment tool. I'm just gonna expand this. You can also resize the canvas um, to your desired um, width or height. There's a bang, there's a toggle, there's a number, there's a V slider, there's a V radio. Oh, I skipped a horizontal slider. And there's a horizontal radio. That's right there. And there's a VU meter. There's another canvas that's um, shaped as a gray box. There's a graph. And there's an array. 
So we mostly work with these, um, uh, the put tool when we're working with PD as we make our patches. So I'm just going to delete all of that. And as you can see with object, um, when you put it on, it shows like this. When you write something into it, it'll show the the tool as an object. So now we have an object here. Um, this is OSC tilde 440. So it's just saying it's a cosine oscillator um, with a frequency of 440. So when we add another um, tool, the object tool, so we put it here, DAC and a tilde, that's digital analog converter. And then you connect the um, patch together, just like this. You And then you um, click on the DSP, check it off. And as you can hear, you, you heard audio coming out of the software. So that's the software um, playing some audio. So that's how you actually can generate some sounds from the software and it's pretty neat. So I'm just gonna do this again, and I just wanna show you in detail um, some details of this. So when you hover above the outlet, it changes to a circle, and when you drag your mouse down, when you click and drag down, um, it turns into this um, handheld thing with a cable or a wire or, or a cord, and you can drag it to the inlet of the DAC and it'll connect. So once again, you'll see the circle, it changes to a circle there, and the hand dragging down and connecting to the other inlet of the DAC. And then when you want to delete a connection, you'll see an X. So that's how you delete connections and add connections. So at the same time, um, we're in edit mode currently. Our cursor is a hand, but um, when we change to um, edit mode, a uh, run mode, under edit um, here, and we uncheck that, um, as you can see, our cursor changed into a, an arrow. So now we can't move things around and edit the patch. We can't um, add new things. You can't add new objects in here. Oh, you actually can add. You can add a new object. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't think you could. Uh, could, but you could actually but you just can't edit things. You can't move things around while you're um, in edit mode. Oh, it actually it automatically put it in edit mode when I um, put the object in. Interesting, I learned something new today. But anyways, that's how you, you differentiate the edit mode and the run mode. Sorry for the doubling of the courser. My video recording software doesn't have the option to remove the courser. Sorry if it ended up being confusing. Thanks for watching.